showed up two years ago that she made an impact this season. What did you see when, from him when he showed up in College Park during that rehab up to now? I saw a guy that was really hungry and everything. You saw a guy that just wanted to play, and you saw a guy that was willing to do take all the measures to get his body right. And obviously, you've seen him this year. He looks he looks great. So from him coming in, I saw a guy that obviously needed to get some college experience, but a guy that just wanted to work and contribute to the team. What would you say the biggest difference in the mindset of this team going into this week's game at Michigan compared to a couple of years ago? I mean, this year we just got to keep it the same, treat every game the same, no matter if it was Ohio State, Alabama, or anybody. That's our mindset, no matter what. We treat every team the same, respect them all, and just do our thing, film, preparation, and execute on the field. So, I mean, that's just the mindset. I mean, two years ago, everyone knows what happened, but, you know, this is a different team, and, you know, we just want to win, and we want to prove everyone that we can play with top, top guys, really. What are the changes that you've seen from Casino, from Temple to Minnesota to now? I've seen him just patience. I've seen him cool down really. Like he's more calm in the um, in the pocket, and he's just he's always in the film room. Um, he was always in the film room before, but now it's like you know what I'm saying. He's going through different coverages, different defenses, and he's like, okay, this is going to be open. This is going to be open. He's just doing all the things that great quarterbacks should do. You guys have had quite a few plays, like 25, 30 yards or more. How much do you ones like that spark the offense? I mean, it sparks any offense if you get a run like that. Um, obviously, this offense is meant to have, you know, big gashes, big runs and everything. So I think when you have a big run, no matter who's, it, who's in, even if it was Chick who scored um, on a jet sweep, you know, it's gonna, we're going to get hyper with that no matter what. And whether it's in the end of the game, beginning of the game, it's just something that you like to see all the time. Given you made a comment that two years ago, do you, do you feel that the team will use that as motivation, the guys here around, knowing the score of that game? Yes and no. I mean, obviously, you don't want that to happen again, and obviously, you want to pay back um, the debt for Matt. But, I mean, this year, it's just respect everyone, do the film, focus on this. This is week one for us, and I'm saying next week will be. Week one, last week was week one, so it's just whatever, whoever we play that week, that's our that's our goal to beat. You finished the run last week, sort of get you back on track after the week before. Do you do you go week to week, or do you do you did your confidence stay at the same level no matter what you do, or did it go run like that so you get back to where you want to be? Now? The confidence is always there. It's just. I might be in and it might not hit, but then you have Ant go in and he, he gets a long run and scores. I mean, that's just how it is. We rotate so many guys, and I know no matter what, if I'm in there or anyone else is there, the runs are going to happen. And sometimes we may need to open up the run game by passing it, so I know whatever it is, we go hand in hand. And if the run game's not working, the pass game will work. If the pass game's not working, then the run game. So um, the confidence is always there, but I mean, obviously, there's going to be runs where I get stopped. Um, all the running backs get stopped. You just gotta keep moving forward because it's going to happen. Uh, you guys have obviously rotated a lot of guys through on the offensive line. Um, Terrence Davis, I think, started every game last year. You get him back this last week, um, two weeks ago. How, how big was that getting him back in the lineup? It's great to have every guy healthy and everything. Um, no matter who it is, you want Kano in there, Debo, and everybody. They all contribute a lot. Um, and when we have so many guys ro rotating in, and it's almost like you don't want to skip a beat or anything. So a lot of guys have worked hard to back and back in. So we're not skipping a beat. We're just moving forward. Why should you I changed it. Um, I don't know. I asked like right after the season, or winter workouts, right after uh, spring balls. Like I want to go back to 24. Um, it was just a number I wore in high school. Um, and I finished Pee Wee in it. I finished high school, in it, so I just wanted to finish my college career. In it. What's your feeling that maybe going back to number maybe just mentally is help? I guess break out your senior year. Yeah, I mean it's just um, a number I feel good in. Um, I feel like. Not obviously not my high school self because you know that was me running past everyone um, mm -hmm. back then. But uh, you know, I guess feels good to be the number, and I know a lot of people back home enjoy seeing me. Go to the more media. I'm jealous. How, 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 how many? What, what number of hairstyles is it for you? Four years. I had it braided twice in the winter, so this would be hairstyle number three. 
All right, so you have the orange. Yeah, well, yeah. If you if you the count the orange, then it's like number four. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So what 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 crop did you do this before the eighty? Oh, I did this yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so it had nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> nah, it's just my hair is getting in my face too much. You know, I have to like, flip it back and get my helmet on. So right. I was just like, all right, I need to put it back for a little bit so I can see if I uh, And you don't name these guys. Uh, no, I just, I, I find them on Google or Pinterest or whatever. And I'm just like, can you do this? And they're like, yeah, no, all right, let's go. So how long does that take? Um, this took uh, two hours and then another like 45 for the haircut on the side, the fade on the side. Um, yeah, I was just sitting there on my phone the whole time watching like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> that's all I was doing. She was like, I hope I'm not pulling, pulling on your hair too hard. I was like, so I get hit hard in the head. So good. <laughs> yeah. And how long did the other one take to grow out? Oh, well, like what I usually have? Yeah. I've been growing that out since like my sophomore year. I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally cut it all off. Um, I tried trimming it and I had like start in the middle of my head and then like I took it all out and I had lawn in it. So like there was just like a big black spot in the middle of my head. So I was like, so I just cut it all off. That's how I ended up with the goatee, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it happened, you know? So, yeah. This will, like, I'll, I'll keep this in for, like, a week or so. Okay. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Last year against uh, Michigan, the offense struggled a bit in the first half. In the second half, you guys got things going. Does, does the offense draw any confidence knowing that you can beat a good Michigan defense um, like that again this year? Yeah, when you see the film and what we can do on the field with our offense, it always gives you confidence. There's a lot of things we do. Um, there's a lot of things we can scheme up against their defense and, you know, Hope for the best. Um, I think personally, like it's going to be a great game. Um, there's going to be a lot of big runs. Obviously, there's going to be setbacks and everything. You're not going to run past them every single time. But um, with what we got going on, everything, I think it'll be a great game. We're, we're definitely going to move the ball. We're going to move the ball down the field. How important is first and second down to avoid third and longs for the offense? It's always important. I mean, as long as first down, you're not losing yards, that's a positive. If you get the ball back to the line, that's a positive. Second down, if you get half a yard. Side. All right, side. If, if, it's like, if it's like first and eight, I mean second and eight, as long as you get another four yards, that can put you in great you know, territory to get the third down converted and everything. So, I mean, it's first down, second down always counts no matter what offense you're in. Back to Ant real quick. He said last week that he's learned a lot from you guys and just watching film with you guys. What, is there anything that you've noticed that he's taken from you, and have you taken anything from him, do you think? Just uh, the will to listen, and um, you know, a lot of guys who come in, I'm not saying he's done this, but like you see a lot of guys that think they know what they're doing and everything. Um, Ant's just been Coach Moore, no matter if it's me, Coach, it was Coach Tucker last year, or Coach Williams this year. You know, he's just, he just wants to play, and he wants to execute, he wants to do his job well. And, you know, he's just always willing to listen. If I say, hey, a bunch of footwork right here, he's like, all right, I got you. And, like, it goes back and forth. It's just not me coaching him. Like, I'll learn stuff from him. All of us learn from each other. Last one. If, do you think the fact that you guys have shown the belief of run and throw uh, and the running game has been dynamic and run, that put a team of buzz and rush the back a little bit back on the field is because of your ability to break long plays? I think so. Um, I mean, you might have a team that's going, okay, we're going to stop the run, but then, like you said, we have the ability to throw the ball and we have the ability to protect the quarterback really well. So, you know, you got to pick your poison, really, if you're going to stop the run, if you're going to stop the run or the jet, or if you want to fake all that and throw it downfield or whatever. Um, you really just have to pick your poison. you got to pick the right plays to you know, cover against. Thanks, Todd.